Hey, hello everybody and welcome to yet again another update video on the 6th of April. 6th of April 2018. Know what that means? Know what that means? That means I am out of energy drinks so I'm drinking coffee. But the date actually means that it's now four years on the day, four years since I have started making YouTube videos. Four years ago I uploaded a video called Let's Play Minecraft Episode 1 Hi I'm Dave, I think it was the name and well, well it's been a while. I've made other update videos like this after two years and one after three years I think, although I couldn't find the one after three years. I, I was looking for like two minutes, couldn't find it. So this will be the first annual update video where I'm not exclusively making jokes about nobody watching me. I've checked back and in the first update video, which I made after two years of watching, I had 24 subscribers. One subscriber per month, on average. And I had 2400 views, which is 100 uh, views per month. After three years, if I remember correctly, I was up to about 48 subscribers. And I think also the views grow according to that. However, now, after four years, if I check my analytics, I am at 268 subscribers. Look at that. I wish it would be 269 this video. And my view count has skyrocketed. I have no idea how many views I currently have. I forgot to check. But Dave, what happened this year? Why are people suddenly interested in you? In case you know my channel already and you are around at the time that this video goes up, you will most likely know my series on the Vintagecraft server. The Vintagecraft server is the Patreon server of the one and only Vintage of the Beef, where Beef, I and many other people are making Let's Play videos from, which for the first time in four years gives people a reason to find me. Lately, I thought it would be funny to um, search for my videos uh, on YouTube and see if I actually come up. Uh, I tried to search for them in a way that I tried to forget that I exist and that my videos exist. I couldn't find any of them. Now, I don't just get to play on the same server as Vintage Beef, I also got to record with him, which is pretty cool. I don't have a bucket list for YouTube, but if I would have a bucket list for YouTube, recording with Vintage Beef would be on there, and I've done it. I'm, I'm gonna make a list, I'm gonna put it on, and I'm gonna scratch it off. Like that. I don't actually know what else I would put on a list like that. Probably be in a group recording of the Minecraft guys, something like that. That would be cool. I've been watching them for so long. And one goal that I want to set for myself is to be partnered again. Now for the third time. Now in case you don't know, I actually was partnered before, back when there was basically no restriction on how to become a partner. I think when I first got partnered I had like 30 some subscribers and 6000 something views on my channel. And I got partnered with that. I don't know if there was any real restriction to that system back then. A little bit later, they introduced the rule that you have to have 10,000 views across your whole channel in order to be a partner. I didn't meet the requirements, so I got flung out, and I think a month later or something, uh, I got back in because I hit the 10,000 views thing. But then, at the beginning of this year, they have introduced new rules, which include having 1,000 subscribers, and having 4,000 hours of watch time on your channel. And when it comes to the subscribers, I am about 27% there. But hmm, that watch time, will that be a problem? Well, let's do some quick math. Math. Old habit. So, 4,000 hours watch time. Let's get that in minutes times 60. That's 240,000 minutes watch time in a year. How much would that be in a month? Let's see, divide it by 12. And you get 20,000 minutes per month that you have to get watch time. Well, let's have a look at my statistics. And <laughs> once you look at that, Wiedergabe Zeit in Minuten, uh, the first big number there, the 20,331, that's how many minutes watch time I got in the last month. So I'm on track for the watch time, and I'm pretty far away from the subscriber count, so I'm not worried about the watch time. And the subscribers are rising, so I think I'm a good track. If I can keep up the pace on which I'm currently going since I started the Vintagecraft server, I will have a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. 
Being partnered by the end of the year sounds like a pretty big undertaking, but I think it's a good goal. Other goals for my channel include that I have lately noticed that my commentary is lacking, especially in collabs. I've never done collabs before, but now with the multiplayer server, I'm actually in a voice chat with other people, and I've noticed that my English and I've noticed that my English takes a lot of time to. And I've learned that English takes a lot of time to be processed in my head. Have you noticed all the cuts in this video? They are due to me not making a script and me trying to figure out words and sentences to make sense. So along with that, I will try to work on the overall quality of the content on my channel. Another thing that um, I recently thought about is my channel trailer. Now, why I really like my channel trailer, I still laugh when I look at it. It's getting a little outdated. In it, I say that I have more than 300 gaming videos on this channel. Now, I still do have more than 300 gaming videos on this channel, that's not wrong, but it's now over 600 videos, so I'd like to update that number. I think I also said how many subscribers I have. I don't know. I don't know why that would be important. I might make another channel trailer, but I really like the old one. I might just try to copy the old one with updated numbers. But hey, after four years, it looks like my journey on YouTube is trying to pick up pace. Just trying to pick up the pace and get going. Now, in case you want to help me on my journey, the usage of the YouTube functions for that is probably a good idea. You know, the whole thumb thing and the typey thing and the sending the video to your grandma thing. And obviously watching a video and watching it all the way through. And after that, clicking one on one of the recommended videos and watching that all the way through. If I understood it correctly, then the algorithm on YouTube currently also checks if viewers of my videos then are encouraged to click on other videos after that from the recommended session. But I'm honestly not sure. That stuff is a little confusing, to be honest, and I just want to make YouTube videos. So I'll go and do that, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you check back with me next time. Next episode, video, stream, whatever it will be, maybe my Discord server. And until then, see ya.